Hello friends, welcome to a new video on Enterprise Architect application. In this video, I'll be discussing about how to learn and utilize a gang of four design patterns in Enterprise Architect. The Enterprise Architect provides uh, like a tooling for all the design patterns which are described in the gang of four design patterns book. So how to import them or you can uh, learn from those design pattern or even auto generate the code from those default and famous design pattern. To uh, do that, you have to first create a project then add uh, model using the modeling wizard so once if you go in this you should select into system engineering here you'll have uh, software actually software engineering you have here the gang of four patterns option so once if you select that you'll have all the three types of the design patterns uh, classified as here you can see creational design pattern structural design pattern and the behavioral design pattern for example, then how to import into the code, you have to just go to the design pattern which you want. Maybe I'll take an example of observer which I've been taking in the uh, all the previous video. Here you can see even the details of the design pattern here. What it is, how to utilize it and uh, regarding those details. And if you hit the create patterns button here, it automatically creates the design pattern for you. So you'll be able to easily now learn what this design pattern is there and what are its uses using the class diagram. And also if you click on the each of the classes, you'll be able to see the member variables and the attributes what are all there. And you can even play around by adding your own new operations to this and extending this um, design pattern uh, class. And even you can add your own uh, new new subjects or observers. Now you say observer, uh, there was observer co concrete. So you can observer, uh, second observer you can add and play around with the, uh, play around with the, um, play around with the uh, this enterprise architect to create uh, new classes and uh, to understand its behavior so similarly if you want to again add a new this thing you can just go to the modeling wizard and try to add a new design pattern into the your uh, project source so here uh, maybe i'll select a abstractor uh, abstractor class or singleton here so singleton if you click the pattern here the singleton will also be added to your project you can see here and if you click on the singleton you will get the singleton uh, class diagram you can see uh, the only single instance should be created so they will be adding the, uh, the how the, they are making the uh, constructor as private you can see here it, it, this key symbol it means it is uh, protected they have made it protected or uh, you can keep it private so that thing they have kept it here so easily you can understand uh, what all things uh, we can play around with this uh, design pattern so i'll be sh sharing more uh, details regarding the applications of the enterprise architect so if you like uh, to learn more about enterprise architect uh, things you can uh, subscribe to my channel